Hey everyone, Reflected here, and today I want to show you two quick checks in the F4 Phantom that have zero practical use in DCS, but that were done on every mission by real life Phantom crews, and therefore I think it's interesting to learn more about them. The rig check and the stab off check. The rig check should be performed on every flight, no exception especially before putting G's on the jet. It's because if it's out of rig, then you sit there fed dumb and happy thinking you'll put symmetrical G load on the aircraft in a maneuver, but in reality it's gonna be asymmetrical and the limitation for the ladder is lower so you can easily overstress the airframe. You perform the rig check at 350 knots. With all stab augs engaged, trim the rudder so that the ball is centered and the aircraft flies straight and level. Then, check if no more than one inch of aileron down is required to keep the wings level. That is, your wizzo will check this using his mirrors tilted so he can see the fuel dump mass at the wing fold. There's one more catch. If you're carrying external wing tanks, those must be empty before performing the rig check. See, the tanks don't always feed at an equal pace, so one may have more fuel than the other and it may mask an out of rig condition. The aircraft wants to pull to the left but the right tank has more fuel, so it flies happily straight and level and you think all is well until you drop your tanks and break into an attacking MiG. The second check is the stab off check, which is performed after a satisfactory rig check. The purpose of it is to ensure that the stab augs will dampen oscillations before any max performance or high AOA maneuvering. So make sure all stab augs are engaged and perform the following tests in this order. First. Pull the nose up 2 G's and release the controls. The aircraft should stabilize in one cycle rather than pitching up and down like a yo-yo. Then yaw the aircraft one ball width, then release the controls. The aircraft should stabilize in one cycle. Lastly, roll 30 to 45 degrees, then stop the roll and release control pressure. The aircraft should maintain attitude rather than continuing to roll. Then roll wings level, release and verify the aircraft maintains attitude once again, thus checking both roll lock channels. If it's not working properly, the jet will want to continue to roll even after you stop your input. Once you're done, turn off the roll log in case you're planning to do any aerobatics, high AOA maneuvers, approach to stalls, confidence maneuvers or maneuvers in which rudder rolls or reversals will be done. Don't forget to turn it back on when you fence out. If any of these tasks don't lead to a satisfactory result, max performance maneuvering is not allowed. Of course, in DCS, all will be good every time, but I think it's interesting to learn about these procedures and how this amazing aircraft was flown in real life. In my MiG Killers campaign, these tasks will be part of every mission, fully voiced. Alright, I hope you found this video interesting. Check out my other tutorials on the channel and don't forget to subscribe. See ya!